do you feel in your bones? Well, Nina, I sincerely hope so. Um, just, I feel it in the ether, so hopefully, yes. Okay. Without further ado, let's take a look. Anthony's first mission was to look into Claudia's theory that her direct ancestor was the illegitimate son of Giovanni Battista Falcieri, not his nephew, as records of the time claim. He began by examining photographs of the man in question, John Baptiste Harvey. He compared his looks first with his official parents, then with the Italian. So will he confirm or dash Claudia's hopes of a direct blood link? On paper, her ancestor John Baptist Harvey, who was born in 1847, was the son of Nicholas and Elizabeth Harvey. But in the photos, he doesn't look anything like them. They're as different as chalk and cheese. But his resemblance to Giovanni Battista Falcieri, who was supposedly only his uncle by marriage, is absolutely extraordinary. Well, we know that in the past, illegitimate children were often fostered by close married relatives. And I think that John Baptist Harvey was one of these. I think he really was the son of Giovanni Battista Falcieri. I think in this context, it becomes very significant that he was called John Baptist, because that, of course, is a direct translation of Giovanni Battista. So overall, I think we've got overwhelming evidence here to show that Claudia really is a direct descendant of Byron's Italian valet. Records confirm that Giovanni Battista, or Tita for short, did indeed start work as valet to the poet Byron in Italy in 1818, as Claudia suspected. He also accompanied Byron on a lengthy visit to Greece. Could this be the distinctive location Derek saw in his reading? I'm seeing these properties, and they all seem to be grouped together, and, and homes and what have you, and the creamy white and what have you. The sun is blistering down on me. Here they joined the Greek army in a war against the Turks, another possible explanation for Derek's unusual dance. And I'm also in the atmosphere getting music. It's like tanks. But the expedition to Greece was to be the final chapter in Tita's life with Byron. The famous poet caught a fatal chill here and died. His body was sent back to England to be laid to rest in the family tomb in Nottinghamshire. Tita accompanied Byron's body back to England to be buried in the family vault, which is right below where I'm standing here in June 1824. Tita would have stood right here, mourning the passing of a man he'd spent a very great deal of time with, and also probably wondering what he was going to do next. It was the end of an era, but it was also the beginning of something else, because this was the start of Tita's new life right here in England. 